Anna, welcome to Year 2 Phonics Lesson 35. Today is a review lesson. Let's start with our grapheme deck and reviewing those. I want you to keep a, an eye out and an ear out for where you hear the ooh sound. So some of these make ooh and something else, but hear it, have a good hear and see if you can hear the ooh sound. When you do, call out and I'll put them aside. Are you ready? A. O. Er. Short E, long E. I and E, piece of pie. O and owl, blow and cow. A. Three sounds means past tense. Ud, d, t. Oo, as in glue. There's the U sound, you heard it. Well done, I'll put it aside. V. No English word can end in V, must be followed by an E. Ow, as in house, and oo, as in soap. Did you get it? That's the one we just learned. Oo. Short sound, e, long sound, i. Oo, as in screw. And it's also you, as in do you. Heard the oo though, didn't you? This one, you, as in cube, and oo, as in flute. There's that other oo. There's our oo, our most common one. Oo as in moon, also can be oo as in book. Short sound a, long sound a. O, j. How did you go? Did we get all the oo sounds? Let's have a quick look and see. U e oo, o u oo, e w oo, u e oo, double o oo. We got them all, good job. So today is a review. So we're going to look at all the different graphemes that can make the oo sound as part of our learning intention today. So remember, we're reviewing and using double O for oo, split vowel ue for oo, ue for oo, ew for oo, and ou for oo. And we're also looking at our prefix pre, meaning before or earlier. Let's see how we go. Our first activity, actually before we start our first activity, let's have a look because remember there's so many different spellings. We've got a little memory hook to re help us remember all those different spellings because remember the oo is really tricky because there's five different graphemes. I think it's five, one, two, three, four, five graphemes that can make the oo phoneme. So this little sentence can help us remember them. So moon soup with glue, flutes and screws. It's a bit of a silly sentence, but it can help us remember all those different spellings of oo. You're going to need something to write on and something to write with because our first task today is dictation using all those different oo sounds. Go grab what you need to write on and write with, pause the screen, then come back. Are you ready? It's a little bit of a long sentence today. As always, if you think you can write it without any help, once you've heard the sentence a couple of times, pause the video, go and write it. And remember, if you want more help, just keep watching and I'll step you through and give you those hints and clues, okay? Because sometimes it's really tricky to be able to spell these words. Are you ready for the sentence? Just as the youth group predicted, the comet flew over the blue moon in June. I'm gonna put up our alternative sounds so that I can show you which ones you might wanna use for spelling, our alternative graphemes. So we've got Double O for oo, like in moon. I heard that word in our sentence too, did you? We've got U-E, split vowel, making oo like in flute. U-E, like in glue. E-W, as in screw. And the new one we've been doing, O-U, as in soup. Lots of grapheme choices. Are you ready for the sentence? Have a listen, remember, you can always just go and write it straight away when you think you've got it, or you can hold on and I'll give you a few more clues. Here's the sentence. Just as the youth group predicted, the comet flew over the blue moon in June. Say it again. Just as the youth group predicted, the comet flew over the blue moon in June. Ah, have a think. There's lots of different oo sounds in there. You can go and have a ride if you like. If you want a little bit of help, stick around. 
and we'll talk through it and break it into some phrases and chunks. You ready for the first phrase? Just as the youth group. Youth and group, this ooh. Just as the youth group. Pause it, write it, come back. Got it? Just as the youth group predicted, predicted. Remember we've got pre, p, or e, dict, d, ic, t, ed, past tense, predicted. Have a go, predicted. Let's read that first phrase through. Just as the youth group predicted. Next bit. The comet, the comet, you can sound out comet, k -o -m -a -t. that schwa sound is an e. The comet or the comet, if I say it in my spelling voice, the comet. Flew over the blue moon, flew over the blue moon. Remember, ooh is our most popular choice. And we've got the word moon, so that one will help you remember that one. So remember, ooh for flu, ooh for blue. So the comet flew over the blue moon in June, in June. This one in June. And you need to remember something in June. It's the name of a month, so what are you going to have to put at the start of that word? You need a capital letter, don't forget it. And that's the end of the sentence, so put a full stop. Are you ready? Let's have a look through the whole sentence. So you've written your sentence now. I want you to follow along under the, each word and make sure you've got them all. Pause it if you're missing something and fix it. Are you ready? Just as the youth group predicted, the comet flew over the blue moon in June. Check it for capital letter at the start. Should have another capital letter there somewhere. A full stop at the end. And if you're feeling really tricky, you might have another piece of punctuation in there. So there's two little phrases in there. I'll tell you that, I'll read it again. You see if you can work out where this extra bit of punctuation might come. It's going to be a comma. See if you can work out where you might put a comma. Just as the youth group predicted, the comet flew over the blue moon in June. Where's there a little bit of a pause there to put those two phrases together? Have a think. Ready to check your work? Okay, so I can pin up our words for you to check. Let's take these down. What sound? Ooh. What sound? Ooh. What sound? Ooh. Ooh. And ooh. There's so many ways of making ooh. No wonder we have to read and write and practice them so much. Here's our sentence. Ready to check out? Just as the youth group predicted, the comet flew over the blue moon in June. Did you get all those spellings? I'm going to highlight where all those oo sounds are. You ready? Youth group. Did you get those oos? Predicted. The comet flew. E W U U E U double O U and split a vowel U in there. Did you get all those ones? Did you make sure you've got your capital letter and your full stop? Did you get the comma? Commas are really tricky. It might be something you're just starting to learn about. Check the spelling really carefully. Check your handwriting. If you want to go back and rewrite it now, you've got something to copy. You can do that. Just pause it. Do your best writing. If you've got any errors, make sure you correct them. Don't just scribble it out. Okay, rewrite the whole word nicely or rewrite the whole sentence nicely because we want you to get practicing writing it all the right way. That's how it helps to stick. Good job. All right, you ready for our next part of our review lesson? Do you know what it is? Yep, we've got our passage reading. Ready to do some reading with me and look for some more ooh sounds and maybe some pre-words? Let's see how we go.
Whoa. We've got a couple of characters in our story today. In our passage, we've got Sue and Lewis. They're going out for lunch and they're having all sorts of tasty dishes and lots of them have the ooh sound in them, the, th the food that they're going to eat. Oh, food has ooh too, doesn't it? So let's read this story and see if we can find out what Sue and Lewis get up to at their lunch time. At noon, Sue enjoyed going to lunch with Lewis. It was their weekly routine in June. Sue and Lewis sat in the room with a booth. The acoustic sounds playing in the background were relaxing, particularly the flute. On the menu was goulash, soup with croutons and moussaka. Lewis had pre-ordered his food, a serve of goulash. He said to Sue, you can order that too. They waited as the youth group was served first. Soon the waiter delivered the meal. The goulash was tasty, but Sue found the meat was hard to chew with her wobbly tooth. After eating goulash, they enjoyed fondue and walked to the zoo. Ooh, sounds like a nice lunch, doesn't it? At noon, 12 o'clock, middle of the day is noon. Let's see if we can have a read. I'm gonna scoop the phrases and you read after me. Okay, you ready to follow along? So I'll say it, you say it just after me and we'll see how we can get a bit of flow going. At noon, Sue enjoyed going to lunch with Lewis. It was their weekly routine in June. Sue and Lewis sat in the room with a booth. The acoustic sounds playing in the background were relaxing particularly the flute. On the menu was goulash, soup with croutons and moussaka. Lewis had pre-ordered his food, a serve of goulash. He said to Sue, you can order that too. They waited as the youth group was served first. Soon the waiter delivered the meal. The goulash was tasty, but Sue found the meat was hard to chew with her wobbly tooth. I'm hearing you, good job. Keep going. After eating goulash, they enjoyed fondue and walked to the zoo. Good job. I could hear you reading just behind me there. Well done. Hopefully I didn't go too fast. You get all those words in. If you did have trouble doing it, you can always rewind and go back and see if you can keep up with me again next time. Let's have a look at some of the things in here. So, there's a lot of different foods mentioned in here that you may or may not have had before. It's always good to know what things are. So goulash, I've got some pictures of some food here. So goulash is like a stew, it's like a chunky soup. It's got meat and potatoes and other vegetables and things in it. It's a tasty kind of soup, goulash. And then moussaka, moussaka is a Greek dish and there's layers of eggplant and uh, tomato sauce and cheese. It's kind of a little bit like a lasagna, but it's made with vegetables. And then there's croutons, and croutons are crispy little bits of bread, usually with lots of flavour. And sometimes we have them on top of soup, or sometimes we might have them in a salad, crispy croutons. Let's have a look and see if we can find all the oo words in this passage now. Which ones are making oo? Let's see. I can see double O in noon. I can see UE in Sue. She enjoyed going to lunch with Lewis. It was their weekly routine. There's that word that means the stuff you do all the time. And it was in June. There's a capital letter for June. And there's that split vowel OO sound. Sue and Lewis sat in the room 
where, where the booth. Do you know what a booth is? Booth is kind of like a bench seat, it kind of comes around and you might have a little table or something in front of it. It's the booth. So they sat in the room that had a booth. I wonder if they sat at the booth, they might have. The acoustic sounds, there's that ooh sound. Pla oh, sounds, better not forget that one. I almost did. Remember, you've got to check the teacher, call out if I miss anything. The acoustic sounds playing in the background, ow, were relaxing, particularly the flute. Ooh, oh, I know what I've done. <gasps> I have spotted a grapheme, but I didn't listen to the phoneme. <gasps> Did you do, <gasps> did you pick it? I got so tricked looking for the graphemes because we've got so many graphemes to look for, I've made a mistake, but that's okay. It's mistakes are how we learn, remember? Acoustic, what sound are we listening for? We're listening for oo. Sounds, is there an oo sound in there? No, Zana, there's not an oo sound in there. So, oopsie, that's an oops. That one's not supposed to be there. So, acoustic sounds, no oo. Silly me, but it does have OU because remember OU has two sounds, so that's tricked me. That's okay. Acoustic sounds playing in the background. There's our our sound again. They were relaxing. Oh, I got tricked again. Goodness me. I am going to have to concentrate more. You're going to have to keep a good eye on me today because I am getting tricked with the OU making ooh. Let's keep going. On the menu was goulash. There's the U soup with croutons and moussaka. Lewis had pre-ordered his food, a serve of goulash. He said to Sue, you can order that too. Did I get tricked that time? Don't think I did, I think I'm doing all right. They waited as the youth group was served first. Soon the waiter delivered the meal the goulash was tasty, but Sue found, did get tricked, the meat was hard to chew with her wobbly tooth. After eating goulash, they enjoyed fondue and walked to the zoo. There we go. I didn't get tricked in that last paragraph. I finally worked it out. All right. How about, there's another food in here. This one, fondue. Fondue, that's a kind of cool food. That's where you melt, you can melt cheese or you melt chocolate and you dip stuff in it. So you might have a chocolate fondue and it's like a, a melted chocolate sauce and you can dip banana and strawberries and all yummy stuff in it and eat it. And sometimes you can do that with cheese too. You can have melted cheese fondue and then you would dip like crackers and stuff in there. So fondue, that's what that is. So I think they might've had a dessert fondue with the chocolate sauce. So I think that would be very nice after a big dish of goulash for lunch. What do you reckon? Have you been checking my work really carefully? Cause you know how many mistakes I'm making today. Have you been checking really carefully? Did you notice that I've missed something again as well? Did you, did you? Have a look along here. <gasps> Right at the end of this sentence, there's an oo I missed. What word's it in? Y, oo, you. I missed one. I was so worried about those OUs that I missed that one. That one does make oo, you. So good job for picking that up. I said, I'm really tricking you today, aren't I? I'm making sure you're watching and listening really carefully to pick up on all my mistakes. Yeah, good job. Form a picture in your head when you read this. I want you to go back and pause and reread it. Form a picture in your head. See if you can picture the restaurant. You might even hear the flute music playing. You might be able to even picture the sounds as well. You might be able to hear those in your head. Think about a time when you've been somewhere nice to have dinner and, and then they've got a trip to the zoo at the end as well. It sounds like a pretty good day. I think they'd both be pretty happy with that. Well done on your reading today. We've made it to the end of our review. Can you remember what our learning intention was today? Our learning intention was to use all these different graphemes for OO. Double O, split vowel U-E. O-U as in soup, that was the new one this time. U-E as in glue and E-W as in screw. And we also used pre, which means before or earlier. 
Your independent activity today is to pick one of the reading passages that comes up on the screen, read it three times. Look really carefully for the ooh graphemes and find them. Look really carefully. Make sure you're reading them right. Make sure you look really careful. Three times so that you get really good and read those passages really well with a bit of fluency. So they sound like you're talking, they sound interesting. Then what we'd like you to do is, got a little graphic on your screen, that's our little memory prompt. Moon soup with glue, flutes and screws. Got some choices then. You can either do a new illustration for this one or come up with your own sentence that uses all the different ooh spellings and create your own little sentence and picture. Can you design something of your own? So a little bit of drawing, a little bit of reading, a little bit of writing perhaps, lots for you to do as your independent activity. Good luck with your independent activity. I'd love to be able to see and hear if you come up with some new sentences because they're always so much fun. They're always a little bit silly. Have a great time doing your independent activity. I'll catch you next time. See you everyone.